Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi. How's everything? Hi, good evening. Good evening, Gabriel. How are you guys? I guess you're like kind of happy since basically tonight is the last video conference that we are going to have in our life from this year, basically. Right? So it means that we're going to be what? Having more than one month. Yeah, more than one month. All right. With our classes. All right. So that's going to be like kind of good for you so you can take it, you know, like to rest and then just to start over next year, you know, like with good vibes, All right? So I guess, I guess for some of you are uh, today, it's, it was basically the last day of work also, right? Algunos de ustedes igual para, like, just, just, Suponerle this, fue como el último día de trabajo también, debo suponer, para algunos de ustedes. That's nice. Otros, pues, posiblemente, solo las últimas dos semanas de vacaciones, I mean, de, 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 de diciembre. But anyways, you know, like, that's, that's depending on the job that you got. All right, just give me one second, people, and just... Okay. Just good evening, over. teacher. Hi, good evening. Hi. All right, so good evening, miss. All right, so let's start over, people, since we got some some things to do. All right, so we're going to uh, be working also in the manual uh, just to try to finish, all right, the last topic. We're just going to be developing, all right? And uh, I don't know, guys, if you have already finished uh, in the platform, you know, with with all the, the homework and all those things. All right, so we are just going to be discussing, okay? Yes, on how those things. All right, so let's just start over. I'm going to start with the attendance list. You know, just to run up the topic. Let me see. Okay, uh, Gabriel is out. Present. Okay. Guadalupe Noemi. Present. Ah, okay, you are there. It is Cecilia. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she is not here. Jorge Ismael. Okay, Jorge Jose Moises. Okay, so Moises, not here yet. Judith Maribel. Good evening, present. Okay, good evening, Miss. Thank you. Carla Ivania. Present, teacher. Okay, good. Uh, let me see. Carla Lorena. Okay, so she is not here yet. Catherine Guadalupe. Present. Okay, thank you. Uh, Kevin Ramiro. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you, mister. Maria Elena. Present. Okay, good. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Okay, good. Mario Ernesto. Present. Okay, good. Monica Marisela. Mm 
Mm, ok, so she's not there. Oscar Armando. <coughs> ok, so she's not, she's not there. Patricia Guadalupe. Ok, Pat is not there. Roberto Emilio. Present teacher. All right, good. Ruth Guadalupe. Ok, nice. Uh, Santos Cristina. Present teacher. All right, good. And got the last one, Jocelyn Stephanie. Present teacher. Ah, ok, very good. You're there. Okay, so just me one second. I need to check something. So, Karen, Karen, Ram, Amen, Ramiro. Ah, okay, it's it's Karen. I thought it was not there. All right. Okay, people. So let's uh, start over with the development of the topic that we got, you know, like missing. Uh, if you remember yesterday, so we were just covering prior to the last topic. Okay, and let's uh, start with uh, a short, a short feedback. All right, from what we were doing yesterday. All right, guys. Uh, what do you remember from yesterday's class? What was the main topic from yesterday? What do we remember? What about the conditional zero? Ah, okay. Very good. What else? Zero conditional. Okay, that was the main topic that we were discussing. Zero conditional. Do you guys remember how a zero conditional works? ¿Cómo funciona dentro de una oración? En un contexto. ¿Cuál es la estructura a tomar en cuenta? When we talk about a zero conditional. Causa y efecto. Uh, which one, Mario? Causa y efecto. Causa and effect. Ok, very good. So basically, when we're talking about zero conditional, it's basically uh, talking about cause and effect, right? If you do this, this happens. Ahora bien, pero ¿cuál es la estructura a tomar en cuenta cuando creamos oraciones? Okay, utilizando esa estructura. Do you guys remember? If. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, all right. We got two main words, right? Tenemos dos. Palabras esenciales. We got if and we got when. Okay? Keep that on mind. All right. But what else? Let's. In the if clause, we got if clause in simple present plus main clause. All right, plus simple present, two. ¿A qué nos referimos como una main clause? O sea, la oración principal también en presente simple. Okay, so basically, this is like the structure that we generally take in consideration when making sentences like this. Okay, en la F clause, por lo general, va la causa, all right, la razón. De una acción, and in the main clause, por lo general, va la consecuencia, just, just to put it like that, right? Like the consequence of doing this. All right. So, for example, if you say, just to put an example, if I, check this out, if I Okay, what else? So let me see something easy for you to, to get this. If I 
have money if i have money comma i listen up i can buy a big house what am i putting in this case or what am i showing in this case all right i'm showing a cause and effect okay y si se fijan en ambas oraciones que está predominando a ah, el presente simple all right in both sentences en ambas oraciones está predominando el presente simple okay good recuerden si ustedes usan la if clause o la when clause al principio de la oración, necesitamos separar ambas oraciones con una coma, como en el caso que tengo ahí. All right. Pero ¿qué sucede si invertimos las cosas? Si decimos, I can buy a big, listen up, house if I have money. You see? Ahora lo tengo de manera invertida. Viene siendo el mismo significado. But what happened in this case? En este caso acá lo tengo dentro de una sola oración. All right. Ya no está dividido en dos. Ok. Por una coma. All right. Entonces ahí ya la coma desaparece. All right. So, but let's remember. Siempre es causa, efecto. All right. Cuando usamos este tipo de estructura para hablar sobre algo en específico. Ok. Good. Va. Para movernos de este tema, me gustaría saber si todo está claro. All right. If everything is, 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 is ok. If you have understood this topic. All right. Just to move on. Did you guys understood this topic? ¿Comprendimos este tema? Yes. <laughs> All right, only Mario, yes. And what happened to the other ones? Jesus Christ. Okay, good. La mejor manera, como siempre he dicho, un pequeño ejemplo. All right, guys. ¿Podrían darme un ejemplo sobre algo aplicado a ustedes? All right. Usando cause and effect. Okay. Pueden usar if, if you really want. All right. You can use if. Take it as a, you know, like a, as, as part of your example. All right. Take it personal. And let me know when you have it. So that way we can move. It, if, if it trains, English classes are difficult. <laughs> okay, perfect, Mario. Thank you. If it rains, English classes are difficult. Yeah, because the signal is horrible sometimes. Good. Uh, when you finish, just turn on the microphone, please, and read it, okay? I'm going to stop sharing this just in case. Okay, guys. I'm just going to be waiting for you.
Okay. Hi guys, do you get the example? Tenemos el ejemplo ya. Teacher, yo le escribí ahí en el chat. No sé si estaría bien así. Escrito. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it. If I have money, I will not go to work tomorrow. <laughs> no, en este caso, listen. Technically is correct, solo que ya en este tipo de estructura no se usa el futuro. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo así? Usted puede decir, if I have money, listen up, if I have money, I don't go to work. All right? That would be the one. Porque si ya usamos futuro, ya no estamos hablando de un zero conditional, sino más bien the first conditional. Primer condicional se le conoce a esa estructura cuando usamos will. Alright. Ah, en vez okay, de teacher. will, pongámosle eh, en vez de will not, póngale don't. Ok. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Perfect, perfect. Ajá, what about the rest? Teacher, y no se le pone como, porque se dice que una causa, ¿verdad? Causa, efecto. That's correct. Pero no, por ejemplo, En la segunda, digamos, oración, por así decirlo, eh, no es un por qué. Because, por ejemplo, se puede usar la palabra. Because. Ajá. Por ejemplo, lo que yo he puesto es, I am sleepy because I did not read. Pero necesitaría siempre igual... Eh... Ya sea when o ya sea if para denotar una condición. Ah, ok. Ajá, esa era la pregunta. Que, o sea, la duda que tenía, mejor dicho. Yes. Siempre okay. necesitaría para denotar que estamos hablando dentro de un término de una condición. All right. Okay. There you go. Who else, people? Mm -hmm. Okay, for the ones who got who, who were connected yesterday, do you get the example? Los que estuvieron conectados ayer en la clase, do you guys have the example? Hmm. So I gotta go straight to some people here. Let me see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For the ones who showed up yesterday and work with me, Roberto, did you get your example? Yo digo que sí. Okay, go on. If you study, you pass the exam. Ah, okay, good, good. There you go. Thank you, mister. Somebody else, uh, Marilyn? Hello. Hi. Give me um, a five minutes. Oh, unos, unos minutitos, por favor, que vengo llegando a la casa. Ah, okay. All right. Ya, ya se lo, ya se lo digo. Ahí perfect. le digo yo y se lo doy. Perfect, perfect. Let me see who else. Do it. Let's stay elaborating to share. Ah, okay. <laughs> Cristina. Hello, teacher. Disculpa que aquí estaban interrumpiendo. Este... No okay. le comprendí lo que íbamos a hacer. Un ejemplo sobre el tema que acabo de explicar, Cristina, sobre la te el tema de sí. ayer. Yeah, just to move on with the next ah, el tema de ayer. That's uh, correct. De ix y ix y bueno. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Mm. Solo tengo las oraciones de ayer. Pero tiene que ser un ejemplo adicional a eso. That's correct. Va, déjeme que lo haga y ya le voy a, ya, ya voy a levantarle la mano por ahí. Ah, ok. Ok, good. Sure. Mm, tengo mi ejemplo, pero usted le corrigió el will, se, la, se puede utilizar, pero no en negativo, ¿verdad? Ah, uh, en negatives. You can mm -hmm. use negatives. There's no problem. Por ejemplo, yo tengo uh -huh. If I practice English, mm -hmm. I will speak perfectly. If I, I if, uh -huh, if, I practice, if I practice English, I will speak perfectly. Perfecto. I hablaré perfecto. Uh, in this case, listen. Technically, your sentence is correct. Lo que vamos a evitar en este caso es hablar a futuro. En la main clause. ¿Por qué? Porque si hablamos a futuro, ya no estamos hablando de un Sarah Conditional, sino más bien de un First Conditional. ¿All right? Y entonces un primer condicional se refiere a, si esto pasa, esto pasará. Entonces la segunda oración, en este caso, o la main clause, en un primer condicional, por lo general siempre va en futuro. ¿Ok? Ya sea usando will o be going to. En vez de will, Hagamos la estructura en presente simple, nada más. Ok. Me miraba el teacher. Ok, let's go. Uh, if I sleep late, I wake up late. I wake up. I wake up. If I wake up. Uh -huh. Uh, if I, <laughs> if I sleep late, I wake up late. Ah, okay, good. If you sleep it's late, correct. you wake up late. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's uh -huh. correct. You see, both okay. structures are in simple present. Okay, mm -hmm. good, good. Let me see, I will just ask a couple of more um, participations and then we're going to start with the next topic. Mm -hmm. Who else was, was in the class yesterday? Let me see. Yo, yo faltaba. Ah, okay, Marily. Let's go, Marily. Okay. If you freeze water, it's turned into ice. Ah, okay, very good. Yeah, I mean, that was a good example. Okay, thank you, Marilyn. Good. Any other participation? Necesito una participación más y luego pasamos al siguiente tema, people. Vaya, teacher. Yo okay. me había quedado también. Ok, let's go. Eh, wait, wait. Uh, oh, no, oye, que habló alguien ahí. Wait, uh, uh, oh, you be late for the meeting. <laughs> If I wake up. Eh, se la repito. Ok. Wait. Wait, if we wait, up oh, you'll be late for the meeting. I will, I will be late for the meeting. Ajá, o sea, despierta o llegarás tarde a la reunión. Si no despiertas, llegarás tarde a la reunión. Sí, sí, sí. Yes. Ok, entonces sería, if you don't listen up, puede ser en primera persona o en segunda, 
if, si es en primera, sería if I don't wake up early, I can be late in the meeting. If I don't wake okay. up early, I can be late for the meeting. That would be one option, Christine, okay? Okay, okay. let me see. You only got an example over here. If there's traffic, Sin la O, Ivania, y doble F, traffic. If there's traffic, ah, you got it. It's payday. <laughs> okay, if there's traffic, it's payday. Ah, for real? El día de pago siempre hay tráfico. Okay. Okay, eso sí no sabía. <ríe> All right. O sea que siempre que hay día de pago en San Salvador y en sus alrededores, siempre que hay día de pago, eh, siempre hay tráfico, más tráfico de lo normal. Oh, interesting. No, okay. That is nice. All right, people. So we're going to start up with, let me see, let me see. What we are just going to be doing. All right, I'm just gonna show up a part of a presentation, but in this case, I just want to show you up something, people. Since we're gonna have the last topic, all right. Basically, the last topic is going to be related to time clauses. I'm gonna show you up this thing. Mm -hmm. All right. We didn't have that much to be uh, reporting this this in this class. All right. I'm just going to show you in here. All right. What are the main time classes that we can use in any tense? So that's why the topic for tonight is how to use time classes. Okay. Oh man, we got to the last day of class, and that's super nice. That's really, really, really nice. All right, people. When we talk about time classes, ¿a qué se refiere cuando hablamos sobre estas tipos de palabras? What it comes to your mind when you hear or when you read the word time clause? What is that for you, people? ¿Qué comprendemos o qué se nos viene a la cabeza cuando escuchamos time classes? Uh, okay, cool. thank you, Jose. Thank you. Uh-huh. When it comes to your mind, people. No se les viene nada a la cabeza cuando escuchan esa palabra. Ni les creo. Tiempo de clase. No. Tiempo de, tiempo de clase. <laughs> No, nah, Cristina, come on. <laughs> no, clauses en ese, claro. en ese caso, en ese caso estamos hablando de oraciones, Cristina. ¿Cómo Clausas? usas el tiempo de clase? Cláusulas, cláusulas también, así es. Cláusulas. Mm -hmm. Cláusulas. Um, ok, good. Estamos hablando al, al, con, con relación al tiempo. Ajá, but what else? What else, guys? ¿Qué más se les viene así a su, a su cabeza? You're listening time clauses. Así sería, dice, cláusula de tiempo. ¿Mm? Cláusula de tiempo. No, sí, tiempo. sí, sí, I know, I know. Pero ¿a qué, ser, a, a qué cree usted que es? Mm, leyes o algo así, costumbre. Oh, my God. Nada más esto faltaba. 